Fortune magazine is out with its fourth annual list of the world's greatest leaders. It highlights men and women who inspire others and transform the world. We're revealing this year's list first on CBS This Morning. Number five is Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon. In fourth place is Melinda Gates, co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Number three, Pope Francis. Alibaba's executive chairman, Jack Ma, is number two. And the number one world leader in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of a surprise. This is a big surprise. It is the Chicago Cubs president, the man who is president of baseball operations, Theo Epstein. Leo Gallagher is assistant managing editor at Fortune. Good morning. Good morning. So the question is, how do you define who a leader is? Well, this is a fun list for us because we really expand And for us, it. too. Yes, <laughs> clearly. Oh, it's a big surprise there. Um, we really look at leaders in business, but also in government, the arts, science. So it really spans all of you know, what we call leadership. And that's why we're able to dig up so many interest, interesting so names across the board. So what is the definition of a leader for you? For me, it's somebody who, um, that's a really good question, Charlie. I don't know if I was prepared for that. Um, I, for me, it's somebody who, who does the right thing, what they think is the right thing no matter what. And I think, you know, we've seen a lot of examples of that in the past year. But we've also seen, we're in this era of radical transparency, as my colleague Jeff Colvin writes in an essay in here. And what that means is that the bad stuff gets exposed way quicker and, and far more frequently than ever before. And so we've certainly seen examples of that. So it's harder to find really good, what we call kind of not out leadership, but so I, it's there. I'm sure Chicago Cubs fans approve of this choice. But <laughs> and right. Boston so fans. Why, right, yeah, Boston, and Boston fans. fans. Yeah, was, but how did Theo Epstein end up at the top of this Well, list? it's interesting. So um, I, I'm not a, a sports fan myself, which my family will hate to hear me say that. But um, so he is a fan, fascinating leadership story because those of us who don't follow sports just know, oh, they ended this 108-year-old losing streak. But the Cubs are really, America loves the Cubs. It's the one team that everybody kind of roots everybody for. Everybody was kind of rooting for the, the underdog, yeah. right? It's such a classic American success story. But this is really re the result of a five-year turnaround plan that Theo Epstein put in place. And what's so fascinating about it is his remarkably contrarian thing was to focus on character. So he basically said, told all his scouts, I want you to go find people, find three examples on the field and off the field of how these people handled adversity. And if the scouts weren't into that, he let them go. He really built the team on character. Not shunning data and analytics, but everyone in baseball is obsessed with data and yeah, analytics. Money ball. So he kind of went the other direction and it paid off. And he lifted the curse of the Bambino. Let's exactly. not forget that. that too. Uh, you know, there are some folks who are conspicuously not on this list, yes. like President Obama and President Trump. But there are two people that have been on this list every four, all four years that it's existed, Pope Francis and Jeff Bezos. Yes. How and why is it's that? It's so funny. Well, Pope Francis, I don't think anyone can argue with. I mean, it, you talk about the definition of leader doing the right thing. I mean, he has taken such stands that are so counterintuitive to much of what, you know, people expected from him. But, um, and we've seen that more recently when he said he would consider married men as priests. But really why he's on here is because he has really taken a stand and called business to action to really start leading with a conscience. And he's really called upon the leaders of the business world to, uh, you know, your duty is to not forget about the billions of people that are not participating in the economy. So, and business has listened. So that's why he's on there this year. How about John um, McCain? John McCain is interesting. You know, I mean, for his patriotism, his heroism, he's really emerged as a, as a bipartisan, he has bipartisan support and um, has really taken, he's, he's our voice on, on defense. And so um, he's on there for that reason. And uh, you mentioned Jeff Bezos. I think it's funny that, you know, the Pope has been on for four years and so have Jeff, Jeff Bezos, who really... <laughs> good company. Put, ...by putting the fear of God into any other retailer. Well, so. Right. <laughs> Figuratively, if not literally. Yeah. I love seeing yeah. Ava DuVernay at number six. Yeah. Lee Gallagher, always great to see you. Thanks, Thanks so much lot. for having me.